Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is DJ Clem. I'm a music producer, sound designer, songwriter, and all that. And on this channel, we discuss all things audio. So if you're an artist, a producer, a content creator, anybody that uses audio, really, um, I'm going to be giving you tips, you know, tutorials. I'll, I'll be doing gear reviews. So um, hit that subscribe button if you're interested in this kind of content and turn on notifications so you know when I post a new video. Now, in this video, we're going to be discussing the Phoenix Pro PTX10 USB mixer. Now, the PTX10 is a four input or four channel USB mixer with a three band EQ on one of the channels and effects or effect really it's 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 one effect spoiler it's, it's just it's one effect now it retails for about 70 73 dollars on Amazon 72.99 so you can get it for 72.99 it's an inexpensive piece of gear now when you open the box you get the mixer you get the power brick and you also get a USB cable now it's important to note that the PTX10 is bus powered that means that you can power it by just connecting it via USB to your PC or your laptop or you can connect it to the included power brick so if <laughs> you are using it with a computer you don't need external power if you're using it without a computer you can connect it to external power which is great for everybody let's talk build quality now the PTX10 seems reasonably well built seems it's made of metal but the knobs and faders are plasticky and not in a good way they're very flimsy and they're not sturdy at all so you can't make any sort of fine adjustments and all that the, I mean they, they look like they could come off any time and in the one week or so that I've had the PTX10 um, the fader cap has come off like twice so you might want to be careful about handling it other than that uh, it seems great but I probably wouldn't drop it because I mean I don't know how well it's built on the inside now looking at the layout of the mixer itself you get four inputs input one is a mic input with phantom power um, so if you have a condenser mic that's great for you it has a decent amount of gain using my audio technica 80 40 50 i didn't need to turn the gain up past like nine o'clock before i could get decent levels so that it has that on lock i mean even with this lab that i'm using is a comica cvm vo2c and it's phantom powered and it's plugged directly to the mixer and i got great levels though i would say that there's a bit of self noise once you turn the game past about three o'clock but the thing is you probably never will need to turn it up to three o'clock anyways so you should be fine input number two is a high impedance input for electric guitars and electric basses and all that sort of thing so if you know you're a producer and you have an electric guitar you want to record you can plug that directly and just you know record input three and four are a stereo pair now onto the eq and effect the eq is decent it's a three band eq fixed frequencies it's not stellar but it gets the job done so for instance right now i have the low end turned up about you know 3 db it's almost at three o'clock which you know is giving that sort of roundness in the vocals that you're hearing there's no other processing going on there so it's it's decent it gets the job done the effect on the other hand is just it's cheap i mean listen to this this is just like 80s cheap delay i can't imagine what you want to do with it um you also get a usb playback channel so you can play back audio from your computer through the mixer and you know play it out to your speakers and to your headphones you also get two separate headphone outputs they are controlled by the same knob but you can connect you know like your regular headphones with 3.5 mm jack and you know standard size studio headphones so that's a great plus if you have like 
a, a body in the studio and you're you know jamming or if you're recording a podcast and there's two of you in the studio you can just plug both headphones and you're good to go um, so yeah it's it's a pretty functional device in terms of the actual sound quality i found that it was you know decent but that's about it it's not the converters aren't that great and if you're recording music you might want to take you know note of, of the fact that the usb audio interface only gets up to 16 bits 48 kilohertz that means that if you're recording anything that's really sensitive like acoustic guitar with a condenser mic you might not get the best results with this device however if you are recording with a dynamic mic like the sm7b and you are recording maybe spoken word or just dialogue you are going to get plenty of volume and you, you should be fine and as a music producer i play a lot of my vst instruments and soft synths live when i'm working and a lot of that depends on how low the latency in your audio device can go now with the ptx10 you don't get any specialized drivers it's class compliant it's plug and play so you just plug it and your os recognizes it immediately i'm using windows 764 bit and you know i just plugged it in install drivers it shows up as usb audio codec weird but okay and so you end up using like a generic asio driver if you're a music producer like myself i'm using asio for all with fl studio and i found that i wasn't able to get decent performance below 512 samples and even at 512 samples i'm getting about 18 milliseconds of latency which is not great if you're trying to play like keyboards or drums live finally let's talk about the price now for 73 dollars there really isn't much more you can expect from this device if you want to get a significantly better performance in terms of sound quality you might want to be spending like hundred dollars upwards for like a Focusrite Scarlett or a Presonus Audio Box or a Behringer UMC 404. Now these are all specialized audio interfaces, and you know while they might only have two channels as opposed to four channels that this has, in the end this only records stereo. I forgot to mention that you only record stereo so you record the stereo mix of whatever is plugged in so if you plug in four different um if you plug in a mic an electric guitar maybe a keyboard to um, stereo inputs the ptx10 will record the mix of everything you don't get to record the channels individually so if you were thinking that you might be able to do that i am sorry to push your bubble you can only record a stereo mix so for 73 dollars i think it's decent it's not a steal because it does have its flaws the audio drivers aren't great you only get 16 bits the knobs are twiddly but you get a decent sounding device for that price which i think is good so let me know in the comments what do you think would you buy this device if you're you know trying to start a podcast or you're just getting into music production would you buy this device do you think um it could compete with the likes of a focus right scarlet or do you think that you know it's just a cheap piece of trash that really should be thrown away let me know what you think in the comments Thanks for watching this video. My name is DJ Clem and I will see you in another video. Peace.